We make the streams louder. All right, so uh, so it's Monday night. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the forty some minute videos from the past week. I don't know if we'll get one of those this week or not, but uh, yeah. look how frugal I'm just reusing the shit out of gloves. But uh, so uh, fixed a few drivability issues with this thing. The mass airflow sensor was kind of dirty, and then I had you know the previous car that this thing was in the swap. I guess they got a different O2 sensor, but oh look, my my light died. But they wired in some uh, some of the other things. Here, watch, we'll, we'll double get you guys with the, the headlamp if this works. Oh, well, look at that. Uh-huh. So now, um, right here, you know, I had uh, two of those things like on like backwards, so they weren't, that wasn't wired correctly. Um, the mass airflow sensor, I cleaned that. And then so now the AFRs are a lot better than they, they were initially. It would kind of like sputter and die and do some random dumb stuff. Um, so I've had this up on the bumper rack for a little bit. I had to use my little ladder to get up there and do that. Uh, Ty, he's attempting to do a, a time lapse on his phone for me. Uh, the time lapse I did in the exhaust video was with, was with this guy. So I lost the other thing, but there's the, the old bumper shelf. Should I just put the, the Pooh Brown uh, Chuki on it? I think it's it's already got speed holes in it, dude. Oh, dear. Look at speed holes, but uh, but yeah. So I uh, I'm gonna put this the pig nose back on it, uh, just so you know, drive it around and it doesn't look look like it's got you know a uh, inline swap in it. Um, but uh, yeah. So first thing I gotta do is I'm gonna throw it up on the lift. Just probably the well, probably the whole thing. Might as well not do too much sketchy shit on camera. But so this is what I gotta. You gotta go through. I wish there was like a drive on version of a two post. Oh, look, I covered up the rust hole right there in the back with some aluminum tape. I gotta make sure they're all in the right spot again. Oh, they look like it. So, I'm sure all ones are the most important, but yeah, so. So, I guess the only thing the, the snow tires work on uh, chewing up is. Is the damn fenders, but not the ground. But yeah, when I, I tested these things, you could see all the, the dry cracks in there now that I got the light on it. But yeah, this suspension definitely needs replaced and some better tires. But uh, so now comes the the test fit of everything with the intercooler. And I knew that was going to happen, you know, right down there on the bottom. Let's see. So that stuff goes up in there. This goes okay. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to keep this bottom flap right there. Because that's gonna give us kind of a, a high like a, a low pressure area right here, but a high pressure area underneath there so that the the actual you know the air will go through the radiator other than kind of hitting it and going down. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep that on there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably cut this little flap right there cut this guy off and uh, see where that that takes us where's my safety glasses I'm gonna be getting oh no hot coal system bud What's the, I don't know, we don't need to be using that anyways be on. on this thing we could do a double you could 
Safety first, bud. Should I put a picture on my Snapchat of what I look like right now? How do I look right now, bud? I got like the... Should I put it on the... You got like so much sugar on there. Yum, you. Well, here's a little bit of light. Yeah, we'll just both get our headlights over here. This guy's gonna die here soon. That one's almost full. I'm gonna throw him on the charger though. How'd your phone die? Oh no. Should I do this as like a Wednesday update, dude? Just all head cam footy. <laughs> Start with that. Oh, that mad, huh? No, yanked off. Should do a like a shop tool, like recommendations, and I'll just look at all the Milwaukee shit and tell you to buy that. Vape, bro. Smells like shit. Smells like plastic. Yeah, it's good to breathe. So we'll see how this side fits compared to the other one. What's well, going in there, further? I gotta put her on the bright guy. Focus her down there. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it ain't gonna do any good anyhow. I need to get the other side. Yeah. Where's your uh, Where's the axle on that, buddy? Oh, do you mean the the electric axle? The reciprocator. Should we whip him out? Oh yeah. Test all the methods. You know, this thing's probably just going to go and then just like vibrate the shit out of it. Watch. It's gonna. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I can't really. Well. Just come down first. Yeah. You gotta do this cut first. Yeah, that cut will be really good. You gotta get to that support though. See? I can't get in it. Like, it needs to be like up against it. So like, if it was up against it, I could just be like, you know, nice pretty cut, but it, I can't, like the angles of everything, it's just, just ruining it. Man, I love these things.
Come right here. You just go straight, like even. Seems to line up. It doesn't like me, bud. Yeah. And it likes everyone. Look at that, look at that melted ass rubber. <laughs> and shitty smelling stuff. Man, that'd be nice if it just fit. He's like, what, what up? Okay. These go up on my side. Why is it? The these flaps, the yeah, intercooler things. I am myself. Like these mounts right here. Are hitting like under this. Really? Let's just put it up there again. Cut all that off. Hair. Yeah, just leave it like that. And then you can see on the bottom here. I'll hold this side up and you can see where the inner cord is. You hand me a pair of dikes to cut these. Should be a pair right on top of the the thing. Yeah. Okay. We're dealing with yeah, once to touch right there. I don't know how much you'll actually let me cut. See, because that's like almost okay. Yeah, I guess it is touching okay. right there. Again. No, it's not. No, I didn't think that's too bad right there. Well, it's touching it, so it won't let it go back any. Because of that. Either. I mean, we only need to go back about another inch, so. I definitely want to keep a lot of that, though. Because that, like, holds the bottom yeah. lip up. Just come down on this on this part, and then you'll like can break it in the middle or something. You can get like a um, knife or something. So I almost feel like we gotta kind of come up into here. A little bit, yeah, because if that's touching, then this is going to be right after it, you know? That's... Shit. Let me take a smaller bite.
how to abuse your tools. That one's almost tight a little bit. Put it down. Beautiful. Yeah, that stinks. Just go over your way a little bit. Well, it's not hitting on that. No we have, see, this is next. That's next, and then this. I mean, this will fold down a little bit once I actually take some of that strength out of it right there. It'll kind of peel down. It's probably gonna have to come up into here. You still got about a solid inch right there, so I think just a little off the off these edges. Kind of cutting, cutting, kind of right here. Hold that real quick. Kind of make me a line. Man, that starts fucking me up. Huh? Where else? I feel like it's got... Actually, we go turn on the... Just hit the button. I think it'll still come up. Look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut some of that out too, guys. So we're getting close though. Should have come in with like the axe on it. Yeah. Let's get over. The Dremel would be nice too. Huh? A Dremel. Yeah. See, so I for sure have to cut off those legs right there because that's giving it too much strength you know
He's probably gonna flick at you. Actually, let's go this way. Supposed to go down lower, huh? Yeah. so funny this thing pig nose don't be too hard with it yeah. I just trying to get one in you know <laughs> you don't fucking that yeah. one's close let's see how close this side is I just want to pick up the intercooler when I do that. Because of those fucking flops underneath. You should cut little fucking holes for him. Just get a little drill and just drill little holes for the bottom of the bumper to sit in. Because like, this is all it is, this for these right here. I don't think that's, because th these will bend down. See? So that's not, that's not keeping it from anything. That's keeping it a little. We're almost there. It needs to go up is the issue. And I feel like it's... That's on the pipes? Yeah. Like right here, like that section. This over here too. It needs to come like out like this. Mm hmm. I just fucking go whoop. Where's that pen? It's on top of the toolbox. Get it come like this. Look at the drawing on the other side. Go taller. I think it's like come like here. Yeah, okay. right into like that. I still don't know if that'll give us enough. So I feel like. Almost like this whole section right here needs to come out. 
We don't want to cut it that much, you know. Yeah, because this that this that bend is bigger than this bend. This bend is just right here. Mm -hmm. and that one's like all the way over there. Yeah. I guess I'll kind of give this guy the trims again. You just do those like fucking little hand saws. You just go like a little hand file saw. Mm mm. What's that? Kind of hold it up right here, kind of where I'm at. Just kind of stand in there and kind of push to this guy. Back, back out my side a little bit. Yeah, just hold it right there. So I could hook that up and just be like, like right there on that corner, that would be dope. That would be really dope. Like you're trying like 40 different methods to cut this. I wish, I don't know where the, because I had the guy with the bit, you know. You don't have a fucking little hand file saw. Oh, there she is, look at that. There she friggin' is. How's the charging guy doing over there? Oh my gosh, I just got one, two, three, four, five fucking messages in a row. Five. From what? From Becca. 
I'm good. Because like, I wasn't fucking responding. Come the fuck down. Fuck. I'm gonna put this in the video, dude. <laughs> well, if you can't. <laughs> No, dude, this isn't essential. Did you watch my movies? Watch the fucking movie. See what the fuck I was doing. Tell her, dude. Tell her watch the fucking movie. She needs to know what she's what you're doing so damn bad. Is he still good? I'm just fuck up my batteries, dude. You got another, dude. All right. Oh, tell me about power, bud. How dope. Damn, I need a little more or should I just try that? Probably a little more. How dope. I do this side. Cause you gotta take this whole fucking bottom chunk out. I don't want to though. How to do sketchy shit with your friends. <laughs> I love doing sketchy shit with my friends. <laughs> Alright. Look, you barely took any out, dude. <laughs> I think I did. Here, let's try it. Look how nice that looked. Still hitting yep, it needs more. This side. Well, this side will go back a little bit, but it'll be fine. Well, the whole bottom, yeah. Here, try to push your your bottom back. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I just want to see. Man, that side looks like a hacked piece of shit. Well, yeah, you don't fucking hacking it. Yeah, but it needs it. This metal needs to come down some. Yeah. That side. Because...
Yeah, that side it's looks right fucking ugly. Why did I do that? Yeah, I'm fucking going crazy with it. So the middle there, and then the middle. That'll take more out of the middle, though. Put a little higher with it. Move up it higher right here. Damn ugly. Actually, it's not that hard. Let me see that guy again. It can smooth out a lot. Yeah, I could think it's maybe that, but I guess we'll see. Is this still recording? Is it red? No. Okay. Whole fucking time, dude. Only like 20 minute video. We're like 30. <laughs> oh, yeah. Still thinking maybe that little chunk right there. Which on the corner would be fucking solid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because this isn't touching yet. I mean it's not it's not all the way back yet, but there, hold on. You want to hold this up? Yeah, it'll hold this up. Let me see real quick. See that right there is what's what's keeping her. You know, maybe what I'll do is I'll just cut a damn line right there and just kind of let it bow out instead of cutting it all off. Like I'll just, just let it like kind of, like yeah, back. so it'll kind of just push it out. Look better instead of hacking it up more. Or I could just like pound it on right there. I'll just cut it. Some snips, you could just fucking cut it. 
No, I got I got the the Wacoma Joe guy though. He'll fit in there. Oh man, that side looks like shit. That was your side too. What the fuck, Ty? You're the one cutting it with the fucking cutting disc. This might just clear this to like go back a little bit more and be perfect. Hey. Hey now. Fucking cut your bumper, bud. Do you think I should? That's an essential part of the operation too. You know, it'll kind of give a little, but it kind of looks like shit still. It's not as bad. I mean, but it's like, it's... I mean, at least it has some give on it now. I could do it a little bit more, but... It's like that needs to be higher, bro. Yeah, but it's, yeah, because it kind of, I guess it, it does kind of take, yeah, but I don't want to cut it too high. Well. Hmm. Beautiful. Fuck it out, dude. The hardest fucking bumper statement I've ever seen. Why does that bottom need to come out so much? I don't know. It's like bent in in the corner. And I ain't gonna be able to, to tighten it with these the inside flaps on too. How many minutes is it sure I got left? Flips are all fucking gone. Ah. I'm showing... 431, 34. Hmm. Total. It doesn't make any sense why the bottom's all fuckered like out. Unless this is all fuckered in. Could just be because there's so much tension on it everywhere. go to work? Should have taken these out a long time ago.
Oh man, yeah, this one ate the shit out of it. Huh? Them damn snow tires, bud. Just taking the shit out of it? They don't like the highway, but the highway don't care. Man, those things are dicked. Oh, you have any sipes left on them? No, they do, but it's they're just all dry cracked and old. They probably don't even flex anymore. Exactly, that's why they sucked. I mean, they're probably good be good in like deep snow, but other than that, I think they're. The siping supposed to like flex on the ice, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and I mean they're like hard. I mean, I don't even know when the last time this guy was registered before me, you know. That guy. Beautiful. I need your help with this guy. Is it in? Smash it in there, bud. Well, now I need, like, I need you to come stand and, like, hump this real quick. So it doesn't fucking, like, pop out. Yeah, you put some pressures on it while I find the nuts. Bud. Shit my butt, dude. Sit on it. Shit it on it. What do I do with... See, I put it all in my toolkit. Did you hear it? Yeah. Over here. It's okay, I got multiple. Herb, can you go push it in again? You gotta like, kind of give it like a quick little like, burst in it. There you go. Look at that fitment, dude. Making working headlights and everything. Can't even tell it's got a JZ in it. I mean, other than that pretty clamp, chilling, but. It's so low to the ground, you know, fucking. Especially you can see on coils. We go turn the wheel the other way.
where you kind of hold the bumper up and then I'm going to bend this tab. In. Yeah, good. Push it in again, give it like a nice little like burst. A little more. Good. That's what they do in body shops, dude. I guess, yeah. Beat the fuck out of it. There's another castle nut. Push it a little harder. Yeah, this one doesn't want to go on. Faster. So I'm doing the top one right now. Can you go see if you can find a couple more nuts? Yeah, it should be in that furthest drawer. I'm about doing the wrong one. I have a drawer right here. Look, all these guys right here. Oh, you said your nuts and bolts thing. Yeah, this is my nuts and bolts thing. Look at it. I didn't mean your organized nuts and bolts thing. I thought you meant your random nuts and bolts thing. Oh no, I'm I'm past that, dude. So I just got the, well, previously I got the, the bumper on here. Got it everything all fitted nice. The little head cam ran out of, uh, out of battery. But I went ahead and I cut, cut these little vents out. They're, uh, they're not supposed to, or they're from the factory. They're, they have a big hole there. But, you know, inner cooler fits decent. It's kind of chunked up right there. And you can see the, the hose and the clamp and stuff. But it, it fits. You know, it's got all the bolts in it. I went ahead and I put in the the factory mud thing, um, and you know, bolted the lip and everything on. So it's should have, it, it's uh, pretty much all good to go. So you know, I, I thought about you know, kind of more for the sleeper look, maybe painting the inner cooler like black or something. I know they have like some radiator paint that you could uh, paint it that still transfers heat. Um, but yeah, and then I sprayed some tire shine on that guy. But uh, over here. I don't know if you guys remember that uh, shelf that I got right there, the S14 shelf that I uh, 
I caged about, I think it was about last year, probably around this time, but uh, I did the cage and everything on it myself. Um, I don't know if any of you guys really seen that video of the name, it was like Caged Phoenix Paints SR2510 or something like that, I don't know. But uh, there's a big box of, uh, of parts right here um, and a uh, bunch of random crap kind of up on, t on it. You got all these uh, these jugs of coolant, well half, you know, most of them have a little bit of coolant, but they got like oil and dirt and crap in them, so I'm going to kind of figure out what to do with that stuff, um, and uh, put some more crap on the shelves. I went ahead and I put another little layer of wood up there. See, I got tires, I hung my bumper off of there. Here's that box of parts that I had. Um, basically, if you know anybody who has a 370Z and they're looking for, you know, factory Bose speakers, factory head unit, uh, windows, window regulators, I already sold the motors, but uh, you know, kind of any random 370Z parts, let me know. I parted one out, uh, you know, about a year ago that I got the tranny from and sold most of everything, but still got a few things. But uh, so if you know anybody, let me know. And uh, random boxes of crap, I went ahead and I put another, like I said, layer of wood up there through some of my random tires that I'm going to kind of keep for, you know, random like free burners and stuff. Um, got another layer of crap but uh, but yeah that's kinda how I get up to the top is I, I left that center section open so that I could you know stick the ladder right there climb up to that throw stuff on top or throw it up there and then climb up there and then organize it so that's I guess that's my method for now of doing that and uh, seems to work alright but uh, and there's another hood I got uh, it, uh, it was available and it was it was cheap so it's good hood Sometimes they're a pain in the ass to find when you when you want them. Whenever I go to paint the S13, it'll be uh, you know a little bit be a little bit easier because this one has some hell damage and stuff on it. But, uh, but yeah, just kind of cleaning up the up the shop a bit. You know, had too much crap laying around. Once I got the shelves up, I, I didn't spend too much time organizing this area because that was about the time I got this guy. So I wanted to play with it, and uh, still need to figure out what to do with this shelf right here. But uh, but yeah, we'll figure it out eventually.